This is Aries 1X Launch Control, T minus four minutes and holding. With us here once again is John Cowart, our Deputy Mission Manager, and uh, he's going to try to put in context a little bit what's been occurring here in the uh, last few minutes. John, I can say this only, it's been a very interesting half hour. So can you kind of uh, go back to where we got the decision to pick up the count and, and uh, pull off the uh, five-hole probe cover and then go on down to our uh, recycle? Well, George, uh, we've been on the same roller coaster with the, all the folks listening around. Uh, of course, we had the uh, the five-hole probe cover issue, which uh, which certainly got our attention. Uh, like I said, after hundreds of tests of the probe, that's the first time we'd ever seen that failure mode. So uh, we were very interested to see that. But of course, there was a, a huge applause here in the uh, in the control room when the when it finally broke off and and came clear. Uh, we also had the, the ship entering the, the danger zone out there. Uh, glad they got that turned around and got that fixed. But what that did was that did delay us enough such that uh, as we were proceeding on through the, uh, the terminal count there from T minus four minutes on down, where uh, they were at the, the weather aircraft was out looking for uh, clouds in the area. Uh, just as he was uh, doing his last pass and about to, to leave the, the area, uh, the cloud that he was monitoring. Unfortunately, he, he had to be honest and report that it was just now passing over the pad, and that violated our tribal electrification rule. And uh, at T minus 238, uh, that's when the, our, our friends in the well, range had to call a cutoff for us. So what we're doing now is we're standing by. We, we think we see another region of availability out there. We've recycled back to T minus four minutes. We can hold here for a pretty good time. Uh, we're monitoring all the parameters on the rocket. Everything seems to be maintaining steadily. And we have uh, hopes that within the next 45 minutes to an hour, another clear zone, which would allow us to avoid the triboelectrification problem, would uh, would pass over the, the, uh, the launch pad and we can uh, get this rocket off today. We have until noon, for sure, uh, but we're hoping uh, sometime within the next hour we can launch. So uh, in that event, uh, it's a little after 10 here now, so we've still got two hours to deal with this if the uh, weather will uh, go our way as far as, I gather, tribal electrification, which is this, this, this new, new rule, rule that we're all becoming very familiar with. That's right. Now, right now is what's driving everything. But uh, in any event, um, thank you very much for kind of uh, summing up for us the last uh, half hour or 45 minutes, and we'll be listening for... Uh, Jeff Spaulding, our uh, launch test director, to uh, tell us uh, when the new targeted launch TZ was going to be. I think they're still talking about that. Yes, sir, they are. So, but uh, I'm confident uh, we're going to get another shot at it today at least. All right, uh, John, thanks very much. And uh, we'll now go back to uh, listening to our launch test director's channel and uh, try to get status as it comes in. And if we get any updates on the weather from Kathy Winters, we'll pass those along. At T-minus four minutes and holding, this is Ares 1X Launch Control.